So I've decided to give a pre-existing EA house a makeover today. And I've never really touched this house before. Neither the household that lives within the house that we're going to give a renovation to today. One of the main reasons is I just don't tend to build that much in Oasis Springs. And this is where this household is. It is the Roomies household. And they consist of Zoe Patel, Mitchell Kalani, Jay Huntington III, and Gavin Richards. And they live in this like open planned mid-century style kind of home. And I want to give it a makeover today. Now I'm going to set myself some rules. I'm only going to be using base game and the Desert Luxe kit pack. Both of them were free. So I thought this would kind of reach out to everybody and you could get this all in your game. So that, my darlings, is what we're going to do today. So I think without further ado, let's flop on over into the build mode and get building. So we're going to start here. Main reasons being loves. They've all got different jobs. Apart from Zoe, I didn't realise Zoe was unemployed and I don't know the reasons for that. So I'm just going to make her room just fit her personality in itself. Gavin is a blogger. So we're probably going to need to put some kind of desk into his room. Jay is quality assurance, so some kind of tech. So again, that would need some kind of desk and a computer in there. And Mitchell is an assistant dishwasher. So he is obviously a bit into the culinary side of things. So we didn't need to make sure we got a decent kitchen. So this is the house. This is the house itself. I don't hate it. I'm definitely going to change the roof style. The roof style is just not working for me. It's just... It's in this like W shape. And I think I'm going to go the opposite kind of way. Pick different wallpapers. Again, as I said, all base game and desert luxe. Now, another rule that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to change any of the floor plan. Another reason for that is because I really like how the floor plan is. I actually think this floor plan is one of the best EA floor plans out there, to be honest with you. This is all open plan, like the living, like dining, kitchen, kind of entertaining areas all open plan with like a little courtyard moment in the middle which i really enjoy and then each bedroom um it's, it's not got each bedroom has not got its own bathroom because there's only three bathrooms but quite a lot of them have so this is a really nice space for four sims to actually you know coexist in and i'm absolutely for it the garden is big enough for me to be able to put in a swimming pool as well in this climate, I think you would want a swimming pool in this house. So that's what we're going to do, loves. We are going to do it. So I'm going to flop on over now into the proper build mode. Get rid of these. I'm also going to cheat the funds up as well. So we've got a lot more money. And we're going to get, we're going to start renovating. Yes, we are. I'm going to first start off by going around and just getting rid of everything that I don't actually want in this house. Uh, I'm going to be changing a lot of the wallpapers, I think, including the doors. I might change the doors. I don't know. And I'm also going to swap these bedrooms around here. I'm going to give Zoe her own ensuite bathroom into with her bedroom. I just think that would, in a house of three boys, I think that would be the case, to be honest with you. This one here's kind of got the Jack and Jill door with this. And I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. But I think what I'll do is probably swap this out for a shower or something. So let me go around, get rid of everything I don't want, uh, including the roof shape. And then we'll have a nice blank canvas to start renovating on. So I've stripped the house back. I've taken all the wallpapers off, all the floorings, and just put down a default piece until we can go around and actually pick what we want to do. I think what I really want to do is play around with some platforms in this build as well. I think we could play around with quite a bit of platforming, especially in the kitchen area. I think what I'll do is raise the kitchen up a bit higher than the rest of the house just for a little bit of architectural detail. And what I've also done is got rid of all of the wallpapers on the outside. I like this one, I'm gonna keep this. But what we need to do now is pick a new roof line. So that's what we're gonna to do together, love. So we're gonna use a half gay board on either side. I'm gonna pull the first piece about here. I kind of want it to be kind of quite low level, kind of streamlined. I want a little bit more of a contemporary vibe with this house. So, but still giving me that kind of mid-century aesthetic that I want to come through here. Now, obviously, we need to allow that courtyard to have its own moment. So what we need to do is bring you into there, my lovely. Tuck all of those flaps in. They are. I'm going to bring you to there as well. That's gorgeous. Yes. And then I'll get that same. Oh, we'll, we'll use this one. We we'll use the same piece over here. Yeah, something like that. I just think that looks nice and streamlined. The only thing I'm not enjoying, I do really want to put a fireplace in here. Weirdly, this had like a unit with a coffee machine on. 
don't really think that makes sense. So I think this is slightly a little bit too tall. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I like that. Something like that. I like this overhang here by the door. But what I'm thinking about maybe doing is getting rid of this window. Bringing this in a touch here. And then just doing a little bit of a detail like next to the door area there. Yeah, I like that as well. I do. I'm not hating these base game windows and stuff. I'm really not hating these base game windows. These here, I understand why they're here. They give natural light into the rooms. This is a main road. You wouldn't want people walking past and looking into your bedrooms. So we're going to keep that um, kind of aesthetic throughout. But I might just bring them down slightly or something. What I need to do now is pick some wallpapers and just maybe just shuffle the windows around. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So this is what I've come up with. We've gone for a very chic nuclear bunker kind of vibe with lots of concrete on the exterior. Now, I know this is not to everyone's taste, but it definitely is to mine. Uh, I didn't really change around the windows too much. I moved this one here just in one. We've kept all of these at the same height. I, I, I tried moving them down and it just looked a little bit weird. So that's what we've gone for. But over on this side, I've used these two. Ignore that light that's sticking in there. I've got to get rid of that. I've used these two. I've used these two just off to the to where the dining room area was or will still be. I, I'm kind of vibing with that. I think that would just be a nice little outlook out onto the actual back garden itself. I have rose the kitchen up onto a little platform too. We've yet to finish doing anything to that as well. And I've used concrete on the inside. I think we're going to go very natural with like plants and stuff on the interior. Because I love seeing, and you guys know, if you do watch my channel regularly... I do like a bit of concrete with a little bit of plantage. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. Now, I thought the best place to start would be the outside. There's still stuff I want to do to this build to make it look a little bit more attractive. I want to rejig this landscaping out, out here. I'm not feeling this landscaping. Half of it is like poking inwards into the house and stuff. Can't be vibing with that. So I think I'm going to rejig all of this and we're going to do the back garden. What we're going to do, I'm going to do quite a big pool i think i think i'm gonna bring it to around about should i go one more let's have a look at the size of that yeah that's perfect yes we'll go to that size we need a nice pool trim obviously we can only use base game probably want to just go for a tile in here like a base game tile so maybe even like this yeah that kind of vibe would be nice actually yes maybe with a blue bottom we'll go for like a dark blue bottom there and that should just bring a little bit of pizzazz. Now, I can't change the colour of the pool water, sadly. But what I can do is decorate the pool around the edges. And there we go. I couldn't do too much to it because base game. But what I've done is just put some plants up on the edges. A ladder on each side with some pool lights. And in the actual pool itself as well. So, this being a shared house, I would love them to have some kind of like entertaining space. What we need to do out here is give them a nice barbecue area. Might be a nice little dining area in front of here. So we'll use the barbecue and the bar from the Desert Lux pack. So we'll use these wooden ones on the exterior bar. I think that would be really nice. We could definitely do something on the backdrop here. But I'm unsure as to what just yet, but we'll come back to that in a minute. What I need now is a dining room table and chairs. And there we go. I've gone for these base game ones. Nice to see some new swatches on these chairs. I think that swatch just really works. I also filled up this space here just by putting two plants and putting that uh, sofa kind of stone bench thing in from the Desert Lux pack. Put a couple more lights there. Got rid of that light that was hanging in there and put it over to this side. And I just think that's a nice little area now. I think that's the perfect little area for them to just be outside dining. It looks a lot cleaner and it's still as simple. Do you know what I mean? I haven't like overloaded the place with clutter, which I won't be doing on the interior either. I'm going to try and keep it looking like it would if it was like an EA house. Do you know what I mean? Little bit kind of like minimal and not much detail in it. That's what we're doing. Yes, we are indeed. Okay, I'm for that. I think the one thing I need to do, as I said, is just change up this landscaping out the front here. And there we go. Simple, clean, just how I wanted it. What I did was widen this path area here as well, just so we didn't... I did like that little cross moment, but I just wanted to widen this so I could put the bin right out on the front here. Easier access for the bin men. Um, and I just changed up the landscaping, put some more landscaping that kind of fit with this world, including this tree here. I was like, oh, that tree's slightly cutting in there. 
but it's not actually cutting into the inside of any of the rooms. So I'm just going to vibe with that. I'm absolutely fine with it. So what we're going to do now is concentrate on the open plan kind of like entertaining space. So obviously kitchen, dining room and living area. So that took a little while to think of an orientation that I was happy with. But this is what I've came up with. Let's get that grid on. I think what I'm going to do is put the main sofa there. I'm going to use this lovely brown neutral rug. I definitely want to bring some neutral colours into this. Some warmer neutral colours though to kind of fit with the surrounding landscape of the desert world that is Oasis Springs. But also, no, that's just it. Just that. Just that. <laughs> I'm going to flop two of these chairs over here. This is what I have problems with. Like, where can I put these chairs? I still want the Sims to kind of be able to get around the furniture. And I think that would work quite nicely. I'm going to use this here, the coffee table that came with uh, Desert Lux. And I'm going to flop that as a side table there. I am then going to use this base game coffee table and flop that right in the middle of that rug, if you would. Is that middle? That's the middle. Gorgeous. And I'm going to use this here, uh, the base game sideboard from Peacemaker, in that swatch as well. And these lights here. Change these lights up. I'm vibing with that, but you know what's missing here. Greenery loves. And you know what plant I'm going to use, because I use it to death. So I'm going to put that plant just off to the side of the sofa like that. Ah, <sighs> yes. I'm not going to put it there because, I, as I said, I want that flow through. I want the Sims to be able to get through this way. So that's something that I'm not going to do. I've just put a couple of books there. Just something, you know. And, and that made me think, well, we need a bookcase. Now, this was the only bookcase that really kind of semi-fit in with this build. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that one. Now we're moving on to the dining area. I'm definitely getting rid of you. And I think what I'm going to do is copy these lights over to this area as well, but just put them in a bit of a different orientation so it doesn't look too copy paste. What we need here is a fireplace. Now this one here is normally for the outside, but I think this would fit in here quite wonderfully. I'm vibing with that. I really, really am. We need a dining table. And I think I'm going to do quite a big dining table. I think what I want to use is this one here. We're going to go for a warmer or at least a wood tone. It doesn't necessarily have to be warmer. I'd like to match it in with that as best as possible. And I think the chairs, because of these chairs here, they're very similar to the ones that Harry had, you know? They're very similar indeed. So I think I'm going to use these. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. But I'm not going to do a rug underneath of this. I'm going to keep this on the flooring itself, I think. I think that would really, really work. Yes. But what we do need is greenery. I'm happy with that dining room. I think the dining room's done. Happy with that space, actually. What we're doing now is moving on to the kitchen. What I want is a nice kind of galley bit here. We're going to do a fridge there. We'll do a counter piece there. We will move these windows off. Oven there. Gorgeous bit there. And I'm going to finish it off with an end piece there, I think. So what I'm going to do instead, because I don't want to mess up those windows... I'm going to pop you back to there, my love. I'm going to keep just the three there. I'm going to do the sink there. I'm going to put the oven on a counter instead. We're going to have a breakfast like bar at the back here with a counter space at the front here. I think that's what we're going to do. And that's what we've done. What I, what I did was put the counter space on the back here. But I actually used the counters here. But I have like overlapped them slightly onto the oven. Now, it's not the best because I wouldn't want this. If you had an island, you wouldn't want that back bit. But I had to make do with what we've got. But they fit in kind of perfectly and it makes it look a little bit more built in. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of for that. I put the sink over on this side. And then what I did was use the um, fridge over on that side there. And I'm kind, of feel, I'm kind of feeling that. Which is now going to allow us to put in those lovely bar stools. Oh, that swatch is kind of perfect, actually. Oh, there we go. I'm not going to fuss with it. I'm going to flop you on either side there. So they have got a little moment where they can come and eat their breakfast at the breakfast bar. Stunning. Now I'm thinking, do we want some cupboards? I'm, I'm a bit unsure about putting cupboards in this room, to be honest with you. But I'm going to maybe just do a few of these instead. Yes. Yeah, I'm for that. So we have got lots of friends living together. So they would probably want maybe some kind of coffee machine. So I'm going to flop a coffee machine on, over onto this area here, I think. And maybe a microwave. There we go. Stunning. Yes. We have got space to cook on. 
but they've got more around this side here as well. Uh, what I need to change in here is the lighting. I don't think I'm going to copy these lights over to this kitchen. I think what I want to probably use here is some kind of pendulum light. So I've used those base game kind of like strainer lights, but I also put in an extractor fan. And then I lit up just underneath the cabinet using those base game wall lights there. And I'm kind of fight, I'm kind of feeling that. I really am. The one thing that this room is missing slightly is the greenery. So I do need to pull just a little bit of greenery out here and there. And I think that room is complete. And so I added some greenery just to give a pop of green into that area. Uh, I think that really works. And what I also did was furnish the courtyard outside. I've put three of the sun lounges outside so they can come and chill out here. This huge fountain thing, I'm not too keen on it, but I think that I'm going to leave it there anyway. And I've also put this uh, citrus tree out the back here. I moved the door across as well, just so this had a bit of a better flow around. And I'm kind of vibing with it. I also just finished off the uh, the corridor area just by putting a few little extra details, but nothing too massive. Um, so I'm kind of feeling that. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is start furnishing each of their bedrooms now. Now, as I said, we are going to keep it quite low key. It's not going to be over the top with decoration and whatnot. I just want it to kind of semi fit their personalities a little bit better. So first off, let's start with Zoe Patel's. Now, this is where we're going to get screwed over slightly because all of the base game beds are hideous. <laughs> Absolutely hideous. So I'm going to go for this one here for Zoe. Just a little bit more neutral. Now, I'm trying to think of the best orientation to put her bed in. You can practically put it on any wall in this room because the windows are up so high. So I might put it in this orientation here. And because of her bed, it's a little bit more rustic. I think that's the vibe that we're going to try and get across here a little bit more. So I'm going to use this dresser here. And I might even use this one here next to it. Like she's kind of gone and got them from, you know, a little flea market or something or a yard sale or something like that. They do look a little bit battered. I'm going to use two of these wall ones, but I'm just going to link them together, I think, if it doesn't glitch out too much. No, that's fine. Yeah, that looks okay. I think that looks kind of fine. I am going to change the lighting out in here, and I might even use the same lights as what we've put out in the living area in this room, just again to just soften it down slightly. So to fit in with the furniture that we've already got here, I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these. We're going to pop the one there. Did I push that a bit too far in? I think I might have. She should still be able to come and use that dresser, but that's made me a bit nervous now. So I'm going to move them along slightly. And I might even give her a little desk as well. Now, I don't think we've got a single desk in base game. No, we don't. So if that's the case, then what I'm going to use is a dining room table. And to fit in with the rustic theme, I've gone for this chair here. I also bought her a laptop, a little lamp. I put some flowers on this side. And I've also put some candles over on this bit here, plus some more other little just trinkety bits in this room that I'm kind of vibing with. Uh, I would love to bring maybe a little accent of this wall into this room. I think it could work maybe on either side. Yeah, yeah, that's a little bit better. Now, I think just to finish off this room, what we need is a little rug. And I'm thinking about just going quite neutral with the rug as well. Now, I've gone for this one here from base game. I have sized it down twice, but I just think it fits in with the room quite nicely. And I'm kind of for it. Now, I'm not really going to do much to the bathroom. I think the bathroom is actually pretty okay. I left the things in here on purpose. What I may do, I don't know if I will do, but I might just change the swatches. Yeah, I think I'll just soften that down there. I'm going to put a few trinkety bits up on there. We do need a toilet roll in this room and also some kind of towel rail. And there we go. I've just put down a rug. I changed the lighting as well. I've just put a few of these spotlights up instead. Or wall lights, sorry. Towels, I put, I've softened it with a nice little dressing gown there and we've got a toilet roll. And that, my loves, is the last toilet you're gonna see me furnish for this house because I'm not doing the rest of them. They're just gonna look exactly the same as that because why? Because toilets are boring. Right, okay, we're well, moving on to the next bedroom. I think this room here, would be perfect for Jay Huntington III. Now, we need to remember he was in the tech career. And he sounds like he's from quite an affluent family. So, maybe we need to do something along the lines of that. We're going for this base game one in the green and brown. I mean, I'm not vibing with it at all. 
but I mean, I can't even remember the last time I used this bed, to be honest with you. It must be something like 2001. <laughs> so long The Sims feels like it's been out. Oh, anyway, <laughs> moving on. I'm going to use these two bedside tables then. Considering that we've gone for like the, the kind of, it's not a modern looking bed. It's that kind of futuristic kind of vibe that this set gives off to me. Even though it's, is it meant to be like 70s? No idea. No idea, but this is what we're doing. Two bedside tables up this way i need to do wardrobe i think i'm going to do the wardrobe on this side with a mirror and then i'm going to do the desk over on this side here i've moved the wardrobe though i didn't like it up against that wall i think it looks better there and it just makes this room flow a little bit nicer too but what we want now is that a desk and i'm thinking about that desk that's in the base game and it's this uh again one that will match him on the kind of vibe that we've got going on in here yes and i think i'll give him the most expensive pc out of the household let's give him this one here beautiful we do need a little desk lamp uh, and some other little bits around the place just to like sort of soften it up maybe some lighting over here as well and there we go i've ended up just using these lights uh I, the other ones were just like weird near and it wasn't for me i've also thrown in a few more extra details so what i've done Gave him an iPad. He's a bit more affluent, isn't he? So he's got probably a bit more money than the rest of them. Or at least his parents. Lindsay's smart, smart speaker over on that edge. What else did I do? A picture of his family home. I can imagine he loves to bring them in. This is where my parents live. I can imagine that. And I got rid of one of the side tables. And I've ended up using a lamp on one side as well. Um, just to like change it up a little bit. I might even just soften that down and go for a grey. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, yes. So that is um, uh, the amount of stuff that I can imagine an EA build having. And it looks okay. I mean, it's not the best, but I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters. Okay, we are moving on to the next room. And I think we're going to start with a slightly smaller one here, which I'm going to put in Mitchell, I think. Considering he has got, I think he's got like the joke star aspiration or something. So maybe we need to give him a microphone so he can practice his jokes in the mirror. He's a dishwasher um so maybe that's not what where he wants his life to lead i could still give him a double bed but just push it into the wall yeah let's do that let's give him a let's give him a double bed i'm gonna go for this one here and go for a little bit more of a neutral vibe of it there we go i'm gonna shuffle you over into the corner like this uh the only problem with this is it's got two doorways into this particular bedroom so we're gonna be a little bit more limited on space but the thing is he doesn't really need a desk or anything so I'm not too worried about that. What I might give him is that like Ikea looking furniture in this room and go for a, quite a pale white vibe. And I don't have to give him a bedside table either because, well, he doesn't deserve one. As far as I'm concerned, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going to put you to here. Everyone deserves a bedside table. <laughs> and then I think what I'm going to do on this side is give him a microphone. Can we have a, we can have a microphone with base game. I'm sure we can. So I found the microphone. I'm going to put it over into this corner of the room with the mic here. And I just checked the wiki for this household. And he does have the joke star for aspiration. I needed to make sure that that was a thing. And I thought, why not give him his own TV as well? If he's got this kind of like love for like media and film um, in my head, then why not give him a little um, TV and maybe a hi-fi as well? A little bit of a plain, boring looking room. I think we need some pictures and stuff up. I'm not really, I might put a plant over in this corner just to bring a bit of greenery into this room. And I think we need a rug too. So let me grab those final pieces and I'll flop them about. And there we go. A couple of his favorite comedy films that he aspires to be in one day. I had to get rid of a couple of the windows on that side to fit them in quite nicely. But I mean, it's it still adds some natural light in here, it's fine. I put a plan over in this corner, I ended up doing that. And I also bought out some aprons. Maybe that's what he grabs on his way to work when he goes to um, the kitchens, wherever he works. And I also just uh, tarted up their shared bathroom. And that's the vibe. Now, one more bedroom. This is Gavin. Gavin is in the blogger career. So we need to make sure that we've got stuff for like writing that kind of vibe. This desk here is not really vibing with me. So I think what we need to pick first is probably the bed and then I can go from there afterwards and then kind of try and match in the furniture as best as possible. I might even go down like a semi-industrial route for him. I think that would probably be the best way for Gavin. So let's see what I pick out. 
out of all of the beds we've got, the, this is probably the best one. Now, it is a quite a dark vibe, so I may darken this room down like a little bit more than the rest of them just to kind of fit in with the aesthetic of that bed a little bit more. I think we'll just go for some grey kind of coloured plaster on each side there. So we'll use the base game industrial desk. I kind of liked the desk being there. So I'm thinking about, I'll, I'm going to keep it where it is. This might change because I just don't like the orientation of that. I might put you around there. I'm going to use this base game wardrobe over onto this side, I think. Yeah, going into the bedroom, um, the bathroom, that would be quite nice. Now, because he is in the writer career, I would also really love him to have his own kind of bookcase but we've already used that industrial bookcase out there we have got that other one i'm wondering if that would be okay in here i really hate the swatches with the dark in this room for some reason it's not doing it for me it just, something's not right here i need to fix things there we go that's a little bit better it's not perfect but i've just softened the harshness that the black was given off it was just too jarring for me in this um, particular build so I've softened it down to a darker brown instead and that's what we're going for I've just put around a few other pieces I did move this one of the reading lamps from this side it's just so it came in a set but he's used one on his bed and one on his actual desk himself um a couple of cheeky books there well we've left that light where it is what I didn't add and I really wish I did now was a mirror I'm gonna flop a mirror in over onto this side here onto that side there gorgeous nice little bit of tapestry going on and a nice rug and i just think that's his perfect um bedroom to be honest well with base game at least anyway we're gonna have a little tour now my loves let's get some good lighting on the go so this is the roomies household that has just been bumpkinized i've just made it into a little bit more of a contemporary looking build can i get my camera thank you um and i like it i do like the exterior I like the exterior. I think the exterior is working for me. It's a nod to mid-century, but it's also, also got that kind of little bit more of a contemporary vibe. Um, nice little barbecue, bar space, dining space. A couple of spill, skill building items out here too. Um, swimming pool now. They've got themselves a brand new pool. Um, I didn't really change much of the house around this area at all. So it does look a little bit prison-like. <laughs> But that is the vibe that they went for, so I'm sticking with it. Yes, I am a dude. Right. Okay, now this way. Into the main entrance. So straight through the main double doors, you come into the little living area. I do like the living area. I think the living area came together quite nicely, actually. Um, so it's all open plan. It's got the dining room moment as well. This is probably my favorite point of the house. Just this area here, like the dining room with that um, fireplace. I just think it really, really works. Very much for that. And then obviously round onto this side, we have ourselves a lovely little kitchen area raised up on a little platform. Got everything that you would need. We don't have a smoke alarm. I will put that in, I promise. Come through this way. We have got a bedroom on this part. This is where Mitchell lives. I did forget his name then. So we need to remember he's got that kind of joke star aspiration, but he does work in a kitchen. So we gave him some aprons. He's got everything that he would need and here he's fully kitted out come to that Jack and Jill bathroom. This is shared by him and Gavin, which is the room that we just did. A little bit more semi-industrial. He's a blogger. He likes his reading. He's a little bit more, I don't know, a man of the world, I would imagine. Um, so we come around here past the kitchen into this room here. I don't know what this room is. This is Zoe's room. So Zoe's just got a little bit more, a little bit more of a rustic touch in here. Very base game. And she does have her own of ensuite bathroom as well um coming down to this way into here this is where jay hunterton the third lives so it's just a little bit more updated in style um and he's got a little bit more of a fancier computer than the rest of them uh that is where our bathroom lives i'm not even going to bother with that and then it swings all the way back around to here and you can see that central courtyard as well i mean i'm quite happy with what we've done today to be honest especially with just base game uh, if there are any other base game houses that you want to see me renovate, preferably without having to just use base game because it just gets a bit samey samey after a while, then please let me know because I would definitely like to, um, yeah, carry on with that. Really, really would. So I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. Have the most wonderful weekend. I'll be back on Tuesday with more Let's Build the Worlds and I'll see you then. Goodbye.